Hamilton's in there. Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton dueling, going into turn one. Verstappen on the inside, they're going wheel to wheel. Fernando Alonso's going to watch out, and they make contact. Verstappen gets past and almost runs over the front wing of Lewis Hamilton as he moves himself up into 10th place. Who's got a puncture? Looks like Hamilton slowing a little bit. Verstappen's got a puncture. Verstappen's got a puncture with that contact. Hamilton steams back past, so Verstappen getting punchy. Lewis wouldn't let him go. That is Max with a left rear puncture and a long way to go. Here he goes then. Does he want to make that lunge? Does he have to make that lunge? He's a racer. He'll go for it if it's there, but it's not quite there. On this occasion, Verstappen, a few car lengths ahead, but gets a really bad exit. Coming out of turn 12, and suddenly, Hamilton is all over Max Verstappen. This could be the title right here as Hamilton switches to the inside, and Verstappen just stays ahead as they now go left-handed and gets the inside line himself. But once again, Hamilton gets a better exit. Now, round 10, 17. Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen going wheel to wheel and Verstappen on the better line getting away from Hamilton as he goes wide and onto the runoff and was that the moment that the title today slipped out of Lewis's hands. Max Verstappen keeping us on the edge of our seats here but if you're only just joining us it might all be for nothing in terms of a podium place in this Monaco Grand Prix because he's got a five second time penalty coming his way at the end of this race for an unsafe release so if he finishes behind Hamilton they'll add five seconds uh, to his penalty and Vettel and Bottas will then overtake him he, at the moment if he finishes ahead of Hamilton he'll probably still finish off the podium but he will want to stick a move in just to make a memory to be able to double stack the Mercedes yeah. during the safety car I think it's cost him a chance of winning this Grand Prix but he'd have been doing that under team orders uh, well, let's see. I mean, they probably without that contact, would they have brought him Here in? Here goes Verstappen down the inside on Lewis Hamilton. They make contact. Hamilton has to cut the chicane. Verstappen does as well. Kevin Magnussen is lapped. There was definite contact there as Verstappen sent one into the chicane to try and get past. It's uh, so disappointing for Max that he didn't. He did. He should have taken a lot more trouble to go round the first part of the chicane there. That's bold. I'm not sure Verstappen was, was alongside until he locked up and then hit the Mercedes. No, that was a mugging. That wasn't an overtake. <laughs> I think he made a mistake. I yeah. think Verstappen made a mistake in there somewhere. Well, it's his former teammate, Daniel Ricciardo. I get the feeling that he's getting affected by the turbulent wake of that Renault ahead of him. So Hamilton, once more, right on the tail of that Red Bull and trying to hang on to the Red Bull around that corner. Ricardo is about to be lapped, and Hamilton is gaining now on Verstappen. He's gaining, he's gaining, he's gaining. He manages to get round Ricardo. Goes a long way round turn one. Verstappen just about holds on, but now Hamilton is much closer as they head towards turn two. Leader and second place, almost wheel to wheel through that corner. Hamilton is trying absolutely everything. Verstappen is defending for his life but he is still under threat and this time Hamilton goes round the outside in turn four goes off the track in doing so Verstappen keeps his place out in front Hamilton has got that much quicker at one stage Hamilton didn't think he was on the right strategy remember at one stage he questioned it thought he was too far behind and look how that has changed in the last few it's laps it's got to be super tidy through the last corner 41 laps ago Max Verstappen put those tyres on. That's why he's struggling for grip. Hamilton, much, much fresher tyres. And now with a bank to the crowd and a packed Budapest, Hamilton chases down the main straights, pulls out to the right-hand side and makes his way round the uh, long way and into the lead. Hamilton passes Verstappen. Mercedes strategy has got it right. And on lap 67, Hamilton from being second might now just think about a seventh Hungarian Grand Prix win. He goes Verstappen, Lewis tries to cover him off. Verstappen through at turn one. And he has made amends for getting held up in the pit lane at the earliest available opportunity. That was brilliant from Max Verstappen. And now Hamilton's got the DRS down towards turn four. Verstappen goes on the defensive. He'll be a more of an acute angle into the corner. Has he got it covered? He has. This could turn out to be the battle that we've been waiting for ever since Hungary, when Lewis Hamilton caught Max Verstappen right at the end of the race. Verstappen over the hill comes 
wheel to wheel with Lewis Hamilton. Round the outside of turn one he goes. Verstappen's got the restart sorted. That was fantastic. Albon's, Albon's got ahead of the two Ferraris. Leclerc now gets shoved wide by Sebastian Vettel. Verstappen leads. Hamilton coming back. Then comes Albon and Vettel. Verstappen and Hamilton wheel to wheel through the Cena de Lago. And Hamilton just has to back out. There was no more room for it. No drag reduction system for two laps after the safety car's gone in. So that then gives Verstappen a little bit of breathing space against the Mercedes climbing up the hill. He's got the gap he needs now. That was magnificent there by Max Verstappen. It was absolutely outstanding.